Roseanne Vasquez is like most people across the country. Um, I'm at risk at getting my mortgage foreclosed. A single mother of three, Vasquez recently earned a master's degree. It's a stressful time. Vasquez became unemployed in June and continues to look for work. The time is running out and she's scared of losing her house where she's lived for 12 years. I'm a native and I would like to stay here, um, but as it as it appears, I may have to go out of state. Bank of America! According to CAFE, Comunidades en Acción y de Fe, since 2007, foreclosures in New Mexico have doubled and median home values in Las Cruces have dropped by nearly $80,000. We have families that have saved up um, all of their, their savings to buy a home, to buy the American dream, and yet it's being stripped from under them. The group is working to get financial institutions like Bank of America to modify loans or reduce the principal amount that homeowners owe to reflect the current market. We want people to stay in their homes. We want families to stay in their homes. And right now there's no one um, holding Bank of America accountable here in New Mexico. Officials with the Amador Bank of America branch here in Las Cruces say they're not authorized to speak to the group or to us about the issue at hand, but are sending a letter written by CAFE outlining their concerns to the president and CEO of Bank of America. For KRWG, I'm Carlos Correa.